can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, Superman punch edge of your seat action as expected thus far. What a fight. My goodness, what a fight. Uppercut lands. And a big elbow inside. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, nice body shot. Effective punch there by Lee. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Well, you better start doing something defensively. A lot of these knees are landing to the bottom. I mean, it is going to drain you. You cannot stand there while someone has a clinch and it's just driving knees into your body. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Both guys appeared to land there. Whiffs on that offering. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Just missed with the left there. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. That was a big check. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Real quick leg kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Ooh, he lands a kick to the leg. Great timing on the takedown. Beautiful finish. Look for him now to try to work to a submission. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Oh, right into Mount. He's got to start throwing now. That was nice. Big ground and pound. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Lee's in half guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, misses with the jab. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, and he lands yet another 
strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Swing and a miss by Lee. Lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Real sneaky body kick. 10 seconds now in round one. Big right hook there by the champ. Yeah. One set yeah, for the end of round one. What are you doing out there? You have to defend yourself. You can't eat shots like that. The judges are going to score it against you, and they're ready. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Oh, nasty elbow there. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. What a nasty kick. That was going with your intent. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Oh, so the tall fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. Nice straight right, Lance. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Lee's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. From a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Right hook to the head block. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That's a big strike right there.
stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, making this clinch work count, lands the punch there. With conviction to the body. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it, but the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to, to deter him from doing this constantly. Oh! Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. We approach the one minute mark here in the second round. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's gonna have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, well placed with the uppercut there. Fighter lands a kick to the head now. What a beautiful strike lands again. Great job. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Nice crack there. Final seconds here. Good round. Great job, man. You're taking deep breath. And Scott, how do you feel? That's right. Look amazing. Now you should smell the blood. Almost had him out this time. I want you to keep it. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, goes upstairs and lands with the high kick. It's going to be a short night if you take many of those head kicks. Oh, nice little right hook there. Lee's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is gonna pay dividends later in the fight. Back kick there. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, collar tie. And doing work with the jab. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're gonna limp. It, it's it's natural. You gotta check these kicks right now, or that's gonna happen. Oh, spinning heel kick, and it lands. Oh, nice. And now some separation. Back and forth we go. Head kick. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Over and over, he's digging to the body. Oh, 
Well-placed kick there by Lee. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Side kick. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Nice. Nice leg kick. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Nice. Leg kick. Lee's shot is blocked. Cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Oh, the knees land again, softening up the target there. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Some beautiful kick lands. 20 seconds left. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, you're cut. No All right so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Under three minutes now to go in the round. 
Nice body shot. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Again, right back to the well with that body kick. Good jab. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Beautiful jab there by the champ. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, Guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice, and it works out for him. Absolutely, he is comfortable, he is home when he's in on a single leg. Back to his feet. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Just out of range with that left hook. Big body kick. All right, so the body attacks continue to be the story in this fight, and looking really bad at this point in time, DC. Toughness only goes so far. And, and why do we have to rely on the toughness? I think right now we are in a position where the team has to start taking a look, where the official has to start taking a look, because sometimes you gotta save the fighter from themselves. Oh, nice, nice right hand. That landed. Let's go. Get out of there. Separate. Get more space back. Ooh, big shot land. Come on, man. Oh, nice right hand. Final seconds of the round. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. And there's the buzzer huh. indicating the end of round four. All right, sit down. Deep breaths, for me. Big breath. Slow that heart rate down. Everything you're throwing is working, okay? Everything. Let's stay heavy on... All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Nice spinning kick there, finds its home. Get those going. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Nice punch to the head. Another strike to the head lands. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. combination by the champion there. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Oh! 
That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Got the single collar tie. Well, there's no denying his toughness, but how much damage to the body can one man take? At some point, the referee's got to get involved, I would think. Well, someone, I mean, this guy's as tough as they come, and his toughness is, is, is really showing right now, but should it really have to? That's the question now. Someone should save this man from himself. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, the head kick lands. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Lands there. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Slice and elbow lands from the clinch. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Let's go. We can do this. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage. And Really springing there with a couple big strikes. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing oh. the game. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Oh, nice knee. What a fight! He went high on that one. Official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your lips.